we're talking today to uh, an organization that is now international, really. It is called Beyond Differences. And we are joined by Laura, the founder. We have Cheeky, and we also have Gia. So, um, Laura, uh, tell us how this all started. This is Beyond Differences. We're a 10-year-old nonprofit, as you said. We're all over the world now. Um, really, our mission is to inspire students like Cheeky and Gio to um, help their fellow classmates and everyone around the world end social isolation. Cheeky, how did you become involved with Beyond Differences organization? I first started working with Beyond Differences in middle school, doing some volunteering with them, packing boxes for uh, National Awareness Days, like No One Eats Alone Day. And then I also did some work coordinating No One Eats Alone at my own school. So then in high school, um, I jumped at the opportunity to join the teen board. What was the reception like with other kids in the school? Were they open or receptive to the whole idea or, or did that take a lot of work? I think a lot of people really like the idea of No One Eats Alone once they hear about it. Because I think when we go in and talk to middle schoolers, um, a lot of them can kind of re relate to what they're saying, even if you know, they haven't experienced social isolation on such a huge scale. It can happen in a lot of small ways. Um, and so with No One Eats Alone and some of the other programs that we do, we kind of come in and raise awareness about what social isolation is and inspire these students to create a culture of inclusivity at their own schools. Mm -hmm. And so I think students are pretty receptive to it usually. Gio, what about you? How did you become involved? I was introduced to Beyond Differences um, when I was in sixth grade. Um, I had a leadership teacher who told me about a new club we were starting and she thought I would be interested. So she asked me if I wanted to join and that's when I went on the first retreat. And the, the retreat was an experience that I never really experienced before. I haven't really been with kids who kind of wanted the same, like dealt with the same mission as like Beyond Differences. And when I heard about it, it was just so like, inspirational. And yeah. like, after that, I just, I continued with Beyond Differences from seventh and eighth grade. And after, when I got the opportunity to join the team board, I took it. How are you funded? Where are you getting the money from? We raise it. It's all private donations. And we're really proud of that fact. Uh, we really don't get any government funding. <clears throat> A lot of individuals give us gifts. And we also have some foundations that are now taking a great interest in this issue. You guys get granted money. Exactly. And a lot of companies that are looking for good causes to adopt. And so we're very lucky, but we're also very small, Yuzette. I mean, really, in terms of a nonprofit, we're on the smaller side. But still, we've managed to give 100% of everything away for free. The kids don't pay anything or their families. Schools all across America receive free backpacks and toolkits, and none of it costs anything. What are your future goals and, and what do you want to accomplish with all this? We're in about 25 to 30 percent of all the middle and junior high schools across the country. I don't think we're going to stop until we get to all 100 percent. Is it weird that you guys have been spreading this message for so many years and now we're all finally experiencing it? Yes, yes, and yes. What a trip. We had to keep explaining it and keep <laughs> distinguishing it and tell people it's a real thing. Yeah, but yeah. Chiki and Gio know it's real, right? You felt it, even if you didn't know. Yeah, we didn't have the yeah. words for it, and now we have a phrase. And it's an issue that spans eight, all ages, too. Mm -hmm. And one of the big reasons that we kind of focus with middle schoolers is because that's when people are really starting to kind of develop their identity and right. kind of understand who they are and kind of establish themselves as a person. You know, these students can carry that into the rest of their lives and we can create a society with a culture that's inclusive.